Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about our, our next topic that is uh, page object model and why we are prefer for page object model basically means we are going to dividing uh, and, uh, web elements in uh, different different method types and we are going to reusable code, uh, code creation and also we can able to say uh, reducing the complexity of code. Okay why most of the people will prefer means easily to understand and easily to divide that element each element we are creating a separate method type and those things we are going to access in our test class place that is the best object uh, best way to use it our page object models okay and also this is an easy format to create for understandable any new member came into their picture that person also can able to understand very quick for that particular object model okay what are the pages is there? each page we can able to divide separate separate uh, classes and that classes we are going to declare our methods for that particular class elements only and we can able to nest them in the future if you want to change something value then you can able to directly go to that particular page and you can able to identify if you mix all the things into one place then you definitely will make it as a confusion and where we need to change, how we need to change those things will get for some confusion, okay? By using our Cypress, how we can able to achieve? Means in this particular place, I can able to see there is a new folder, page object model. This is my new folder I created, okay? By using like, we can able to right click and choose for new folder and provide your name of the folder, okay? Anything you can able to choose. I chose for page object model. And inside that, I created for JSON file, login.json file, okay? After that, we need to create here as a class, okay? And the class, we can able to mention anything, login, login page, and I'm going to creating this page here, okay? After that, we need to create our each step, like a, a visit, and we have visit method right in this visit also we can able to create and separate method we are using right now cypress method and using cypress i'm going to create my own custom visit step okay and this is step creation like this and we can able to paste it now we are able to access this visit into our local okay this is one kind of thing and even we can able to divide our filling user if I enter username and for this also you can but uh, enter name it is accept for name of the value right then I'm going to mention the value okay and I'm going to take for my xpath here or else we can able to go and see into here also okay that to right click and here we can able to inspect that location and we can able to get the attribute here and the attribute value okay this is a format also we can able to uh, create our attribute and just i'm reducing the time purpose i'm copying this line okay i'm just pasting here but in this format if you create it's not a look and feel and it's not a good and thinking right for this how we can able to reduce means like in case some text box is already presented some value that value how we need to clear if you use directly like this means we can't able to create right for this we can able to create one constant variable constant variable as a name and i'm going to give the name of that and after that i'm going to using name dot clear Okay, this is a method to clearing for your text. Then we can able to use it this name. Paste it and I can able to pass it for value here. Then whenever you pass this one, it will uh, return for your value. Then we can able to return something like this keyword. Okay, this keyword will return this particular action. Then even we can able to enter for password also. And this also it will accept for value and I'm going to create for this and again I'm copying this particular session pasting here 
and again I'm going to create for constant because the similar format how we done for uh, here is same format I'm going to do it okay constant pass I'm going to use is a variable value and I can able to enter two times here pass dot clear because our text box right we need to make it for clear that one then we need to use it for our uh, value to present okay then I'm going to use it here there is another uh, thing like submit button this is my submit button I want to click this one okay for this again I'm going to use for submit is a method name and only this subject uh, submit and enter name we need to use it enter name enter password this field we need to use not an entire thing like cypress.get and uh, providing value and dot type these all the things we are not going to use directly we are going to use for this particular one okay now I'm going to copying this particular one Coming back to here and pasting here we don't have any option to do it that's why I'm going to directly using this one and here also I'm going to return this keyword for password field also one software everything is done come the last 25th line and enter two times here we need to make it as a default why we need to make as a default means you want to read this file into this particular place means you need to make it as a default then only you can able to get it otherwise you will not get it without making I am going to show you here difference you can able to understand okay after that you can understand what exactly it is there custom now test case creation and again I'm going to okay now we need to access this class means we need to import okay import is a concept to importing our package what package we are going to do login okay login we are going to import where where it is the login file it is presented once you click the two times dot means it will indicate the current project location then once you this symbol if you mention then it will give you an e to e what all the folders are presented that all the folders it will provide and we need to choose our file where it is presented then we need to use it for our login okay this is our login login.js this is our file okay now I'm going to creating an object of this class okay for this I'm going to use for constant lg and equal to I'm going to specify for new keyword and login okay now you can see you are not able to understand after that you can see lg dot we are not getting our visit method right okay now again I'm going to login place I'm going to doing here I need to make for default value right for this we need to use for export symbol space we need to use for default keyword which default we are going to use for login login page this login page we are going to make it as a default okay then we can able to come to here and use for lg dot you can able to see now visit and even you can able to submit username password this all the things we are able to get it for IntelliJ right before we are not getting that is a main different okay enter username and you can able to pass something enter username dot enter password and what we need to do lg dot submit okay this is a format we can able to use what the value we need to pass mercury and we can come to here and we can take it here and paste it okay now we are able to do it right now we can able to use for npx cypress open
now once we enter it will go and see we can able to now here we can see our case object case and you can able to see it will run and it will give the result once it is picked that URL you can able to understand whether it is running or not okay now you can see it is running and even you can able to see all the flow of that particular and final result also we can able to see this is a one kind of uh, execution okay the simple creation of page object model and we can able to achieve as a quick okay that's all about this video i hope you understand this one please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you